Would you like to introduce Sasha? Yes, yeah, sir. What's up, guys? John here from Titan Medical Center with my beautiful wife and uh, my little partner here, Sasha. We're out here helping you guys feel better, look better, and perform better. It's all about quality of life and improving that every single day. So that's what Titan Medical Center can do for you with hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, healing peptides, blood work, and a lot, lot more. And don't worry, if you guys aren't close to Tampa, we service nationwide, so just give us a call or text, 727-389-3220, or come see us at our booth over there by my man's beautiful Bugatti over there, right? So come and visit us, come sign up on the iPad, get a free t-shirt, and if we don't see you today, hopefully we'll see you in the future. We want to take a minute and say thank you to Joe and everybody that's put this awesome event together. Every single year it just gets better and better. More and more beautiful cars yeah. coming out here. This is a great setup right here today too, so thank you, Joe. I'm Chenille. I'm one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. I wanted to talk to you today about one of our fantastic weight loss therapies called semaglutide. Some of you may have heard of it called Ozempic as well or Wegovy. So semaglutide is the main component of that medication. It is a glucagon-like peptide which works via insulin regulation in the body to help the glucose get used in the cell as a source for energy, which is gonna help aid in fat metabolism. There's also receptors for it in the small bowel that signal your body it's full sooner to suppress the appetite, and it also works to delay the gastric emptying process as well, so you feel fuller longer. So it's gonna help overall with the fat metabolism and appetite suppression effects to help you with your weight loss goals. If you're interested in this therapy and you wanna see if it's right for you, Give us a call today, 727-389-3220, or visit titanmedicalcenter.com.
What's up guys, John here from Titan, and today we wanna to talk about thriving and not just surviving, right? Now let's really break this down. Thriving, what does thriving really mean? That means taking care of or getting the best possible ultimate result out of life or whatever you're doing. You're getting everything you possibly wanted. Let's talk about surviving. Surviving is having the necessities you need to live, okay? So thriving means, listen, you can go out, you can get a great car, you can get a great house, you can have an awesome job, you're getting everything you possibly wanted. And I was just giving some examples out there. Your thriving may have a better definition or different definition than I just previously said to you guys. But let's talk about surviving. Surviving is, hey listen, I've got a roof over my head, I've got food on my plate, I've got clothes on my back, I'm good to go. So you have the basic necessities to live through life. Thriving is going above and beyond that. Thriving is having all those necessities and going out there and working harder so you can receive and get all the other things that you possibly want. Now these might be materialistic things or these might be relationship things. These could, this could be a number of different topics or things that you want to have in life. But ultimately, you want to thrive, right? And a part of thriving is being the healthiest you possibly can. Because think about it, if you're thriving in your health, you're out there, you have tons of energy, you're being active, you're seeing all types of people, you're doing all types of things, and you're enjoying it. Surviving, for example, is saying you have a nine to five. You have to go there nine to five, and at that point, that's all you got. That's all you could possibly do because you don't have no energy to do anything else, you don't feel like it, you're depressed. Now you're just surviving. You're going day by day and just getting by. Instead of thriving, right? And you're going day by day and progressing past your goals of what you already had. You ultimately want to be thriving every day in your life. Now listen, you're going to have some good days and some bad days. But the majority of your days should be good, right? Because at that point, you are moving in the right direction and you're thriving. So, there's some different things you can possibly do to thrive. One, set some goals for yourself. What do you want to achieve in life? What are these things? Write them down. It's important. It's important because some people don't write these things down. They have some inkling of what they want to do, but they have no goal and direction of where they want to be. So at that point, you need this. This is a roadmap. This is telling you where you want to go, and what you want to achieve. Look at that list daily and start trying to conquer that list of whatever it is. Go down it in priority. Right? One, two, three, this is what I want to accomplish now, next, after that. And start connecting and conquering those goals. Start thriving instead of surviving. Like, hey, listen, uh, well, I want to do this today, but you know, I don't feel like it, and I'm just not going to do anything. I'm going to go home and sleep on the couch. You're not thriving, you're surviving. And at that point, the other part of this is health. You want to thrive in your health. So when you're feeling good, you're out there and you can do anything you really want to. If you're just surviving, that can mean that you're sitting on a, a bed in the hospital. Yes, you're alive, but you're barely getting by. You're surviving, okay? Now, there's certain instances where surviving is okay, right? If you're in an apocalypse and you know you have to go find food or whatever it is, you're just trying to survive and get by day by day. But we're not in that instance right now, okay? You're in an environment right now where you can thrive more than ever, more than you possibly know or give yourself credit for. So look deep down inside and think to yourself, am I thriving or am I just surviving? And at that point, if you wanna take your health to a different level, because when you're healthy, you're gonna be more motivated than ever, right? When your levels are optimal, when you have everything working right, just like a race car, you're gonna run that lap the best possible time you've ever had before. When everything is not working properly, you're down, you don't feel good about yourself, the confidence isn't there, you're not gonna run that lap as good. Let's say tires are off or balances are off in that car. Same thing, that lap is not gonna be your best lap. So at that point, think about it. How can you thrive and not survive? So take this advice, put it forward tomorrow so you guys can start thriving and not just surviving. Call our Texas today, 727-389-3220 and tell them John sent you.
Hi again folks, Cass, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center. I want to talk to you guys today about glutathione. A great treatment. Overall, it's going to improve your immune system. It's great for your liver. Not only do we make this naturally, but we use it rather quickly in the body. So putting it in can absolutely increase your overall health and make you feel better. So if you're interested in learning more about glutathione and other treatments that we offer here at Titan Medical Center, give us a call at 727-389-3220 or check us out online at titanmedicalcenter.com. Again, stay healthy out there, guys. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner, uh, bringing all kinds of good tips, tricks, and things that are going to help your relationship go to the next level. And if you're not in a relationship, you can you know, take some of these tips and tricks, keep them to the side, so when you do find that right person, then you can utilize these tips and tricks to make your relationship the best possible one you can. Yes. Um, so this week, it's a little personal, but at that point, I want to share these tips with you. So vacations, right? You know, vacations. Everybody should take one once in a while, anyway, right? Um, there's never a really right time, but you know, try to plan for a good time to do it. The summer. Um, <laughs> yeah. So with Therese and her just turning 35, he's totally lying. I'm really just 25. There you go, 25. Yeah, yeah that's 25. better for me too. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, so. For her birthday, you know, we usually go out and we usually do a little vacation, a little trip anyway, right? Whether it's a couple days or whatever it is, we'll take what we can get, right? Yeah. So <laughs> at that point, you know, we want to go somewhere so we can go relax, revitalize, rejuvenate, you know, kind of recharge the battery so we can come back fresh. And obviously, Sharice wanted a little bit of time alone. She yeah. always likes to do that for her birthday. Uh, well, yeah, I don't. I'm not the one that likes. You know, he likes to have the big shebang with everybody around. Me personally, I like to be alone with maybe like you know, if I am gonna have a couple people around, we're like talking a max of ten. I don't want any more than ten people, and just everyone kind of just leave me alone for my birthday. I've always kind of been that way, but you know, it's I. Figured it was a good way to just, you know, we had all of our best friends under one roof, which was very, very, very cool. Most of them. Most of them, almost. Yeah, we were missing almost. a couple. We were missing couple, a couple, couple stragglers. stragglers. Always. Every time. <laughs> and then, um, you know, obviously, you know, me and him have some, you know, a little alone time, which is nice. You know, because we, we're always working, you know, yeah. we're always working and then we're not working. We go home and then Peter's at home. And then we, I mean, obviously have dinner with Peter, you know, do this with that. Get up the next day, do it all over again. And just kind of just the cycle of just bup, 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 you just forget to stop for a moment and like enjoy each other exactly. and enjoy the moment. Yep. I mean, we went to Cabo and it was, yeah. it was so, so nice. I really, really needed it. Yeah. I actually, was the first time in nine years that I didn't open my laptop for two days. And I know two days seems like that's not really like that much, but in my world, two days is probably about two weeks in your world. Yeah. So it was a long time and I, I took everything out of me not to open the laptop. I'm like, ah, I need to do it. But you know, it, it was nice to just kind of, you know, decompress compress and disconnect for a little bit i think it's important for mental health you know emotional health just it just you need it i really do think you need it and i think the big point to this because obviously we're talking about cubits corner and relationships so i think relationships will really benefit from this because it's time that you guys should be taking away for each other right and you guys spend as much time as possible together and have fun. Mm -hmm. You guys are making good memories. There should be no negative information, influences, nothing around you that's going to disturb your time. Right. You guys are spending time and quality time together, right? So if you guys are on vacation, try to disconnect from the phone. 
-hmm. Try to disconnect from the computer, right? We all know everybody has to work. We know better than anybody else, okay? (laughs) And, you know, whether it's in the office or social media or whatever we're doing, we have to do it. But, you know, you want to take that time away and really just get away. And that can reignite relationships, too. So Mm -hmm. let's say you guys' relationship isn't that good or things just aren't. You know, clicking the way they used to be. Yeah. You guys might need that, you know, alone time to really grow together again, you know. Make sure those roots aren't broken. Put them back together, right? Spend that time in the bedroom. Yeah. Nobody's there. It's yeah. just you guys. Yeah. So if you guys have family, you guys know what that's all about. Even if you have yeah. dogs and stuff like I mean, that. The dogs aren't that bad because you can kick them off the bed, right? Because <laughs> I do that often, you know. But, you know, if you got, you know, the kids are outside playing with the dog by the door and, you know, and, you know, maybe there's like, you know, your family member, John's daddy lives with us. I bless his heart for doing all the laundry for Peter. Thank you. Um, it's one less thing for me to do. But, you know, the laundry thingy is right outside our door so you know it's it's you gotta kind of it just kind of disturbs things a little bit so to get away and you know we had the whole floor to ourselves, yeah which was super awesome all i wanted to do and not for any specific reason i just wanted to scream just because i felt like i had the whole floor to myself and i could just scream as loud as i want nobody would ever tell me no and stop or anything because we're you know, we're on this huge yeah. you know we had this huge house that had like six floors and we all of our you know we went we went on this house with all our friends so it was a lot of fun you know one tip i can give you guys that on this trip thing right so let's just say you do decide to go with a group of friends right and we're talking about the relationship thing so obviously you have to be able to allocate the different time frames for like you know this is going to be our time you know whether it's in the bedroom right. or we're going to cuddle and snuggle and watch a movie or whatever it might be and then we'll have this time for our friends or for your friends it's, it's not like you know it's he had his best friend out there mm. so the last thing i'd want is you know okay him and his best friend are playing pool until four o'clock in the morning because there was a pool table there and they and he loves playing pool yeah. um but you know until four o'clock in the morning and i'm sitting there staring at them that'd be terrible right so it's you know you got to use some of your common sense you know when it comes to things like this and kind of have a happy balance or just just go by yourself go by yourself go by yourself that really is that that really is the key because you don't have yourselves. to worry about entertaining people yep you don't have to worry about a schedule uh, i mean that's that's kind of where it is now some people are different they go on vacation they have a very structured thing they want to see all these different things uh you know sightsee this that whatever that's fine if that's what you guys like to do but listen if you guys are going on vacation and that's not really a big thing to you guys don't have a schedule yeah Sleep I in, enjoy, revitalize, yeah. recharge the batteries. Because then you're always like, you know, then you're like, oh, we got to get here. Hurry, yeah, hurry, hurry, yeah. hurry, hurry. I mean, trust me, we have enough that day to day. You know, our, our little inside, you know, joke to me and Sharice every day. <laughs> rush, 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 Because literally, it's rush, 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 Everything we're doing, rush, 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 go, 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 rush, rush, rush. So... This is time for you guys to, you know, take it back a notch and not rush, rush, rush. It was just like, it was like, rush, yeah. rush. It was still, you know, I still felt it, but it wasn't like, rush, 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 yeah. all day. Like this, like the Tasmanian devil. Yep. <laughs> just spinning. All day. Just spinning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that. Um, you know, the best thing, is your, your mantra should be enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Yes. Enjoy the place you're at. Enjoy the company you're with, right? Mm-hmm. Enjoy the food or entertainment that's around you. That's another big thing. When you go on vacation, you know you don't have to eat garbage. You don't have to eat like crap. Now, listen, if you want to splurge a little bit, that's cool. That's mm-hmm. fine. But you know, don't get off track of what you're doing daily, your routine. I mean, some people, you know, they want to work out on vacation. Some people like, I want to take a break. That's cool too. Just you know, whatever you know, float your boat. Exactly. You know, whatever you feel comfortable with and that you want to do. What makes you happy? Right. Right. Because you're breaking away from work or whatever it is. You're with your partner. What's going to make you guys happy? You guys too. You know, yeah, just not, not just one, one or the other. Or right? the other. You know, like I'm going to do this, and you know, you can do this. It's, yeah. The whole point is for you guys to get away together. Right. You know, maybe couples massages. That's right. a good one. Couples maybe good. a bath together if you got a big enough bathtub. That's a, that's a good one. one. Maybe a shower together because right. I mean, who t- who a takes a shower anymore? Me and John can barely fit in our own shower together. <laughs> if I'm in there, I'm like this for like you know. Like okay, we're done. I've had a minute of this. I, but I'm, I'm cold. I don't have any of the water. <laughs> we had this shower there, and this shower was so cool. I've never like the shower was amazing. Listen, the whole bathroom was awesome, and yeah. you know the little things in life that like yeah. makes me be like woohoo. You know, I'm all excited about these things. But it had the 
the shower heads and there was like six shower heads on each side yep. and i'm like and one big one at the top one rain shower on one side and then another one that was larger so and either way you look shower, at it one. right we were able to take a shower together and no one was cold yeah i still had water on me at some point in time <laughs> and i wasn't freezing to death like yeah. ee, <laughs> you know so yeah exactly we didn't have hot water first Ooh. night that was fun um, but yeah, outside of that, you know, it was, it was nice, but that's just, you know, a couple little things that you can do, you know, together that it's, 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 you guys can connect Absolutely. like that, you Go know, enjoy lay by the pool, you know, together to talk about things like, you know, just break things down man. joke around. I mean, smiles and joking around, you know, making new memories. That's another big one. Like, um, bring, you know, you obviously have your phone with you. Most people have phones. Um, and 50% of those people have iPhones. So I know the camera on those things are awesome because I have them, right? So take some pictures, you know, that's another good thing you guys can do. You know, do a time lapse. That's, you know, make memories. John did a good time lapse. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Was well, I, I, I did like, you know, like two of them. Yeah, they're I know, pretty good. You know, another person did another one. So it was really, really cool. Now, you know, with, you know, doing like all that, you know, it t- kind of takes your, your, you're focused away from what you really should be doing because I'm worried about getting shots. I'm worried about getting content and stuff like that. But, I remind him. Don't worry. But I remind him. Later on, <laughs> you're going to be able to look back at that. And be like, oh, my God, this was awesome. I'm so glad I got this. Or, you, you know, you have those memories. And mm. those memories take you back, right? And then they make you happy. You think about the good times and what was going on there and, then and you all can, that good stuff. Yeah, at that point, when you do look at that, right, you, you can – really visualize and plan oh i'm looking forward to the next time we get to do yeah. this you yeah. know yeah. and it gives you something to look forward to yeah. you know yeah. like oh i can't wait to do this again and you know really enjoy my time with yeah. you so it's nice goals okay goals, goals. That's what couple it's all goals about. that's right couple goals that's us achieving those goals <laughs> And always uh, progressing on those goals, course. right? You always want to make things better. So that's what it's about, you know. And some people out there, they, they take things for granted. We were talking about this the other night. Like, you know, like, you know, people start dating or after they're married and so long. And, you know, things just, they become routine, right? And you don't ever want that to happen. Don't let that happen. Um, and always be grateful for what you have because it can be gone in a second. Mm-hmm. So at that point... Live your life, have good times, and vacation. Okay, it doesn't need to be some crazy. You guys don't have to go to Cabo. Literally, you can you can literally book a hotel down the street. That's right. At some whatever place. That's right. And you could you know it could be a minimal amount of money. Yep. And you just go by yourselves with just you and your significant other. Day vacation, weekend vacation. You know, it took it's the little things. You know, tonight I'm very excited, and the reason why I'm so excited is because movies are back, right? And me and John do movie night, and we have for years, right? Then COVID hit, movie shut down, and I I lost my night with John. Like my my we didn't get a night anymore. Like sometimes I'd be like, oh, let's go to dinner. I miss my my movie night with you, but still not like movie night, right? Because even at dinner, he might pull out his phone real quick. I'm like, we're at dinner, okay? And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, in the movie, he's forced to put the phone away. You have to put it away. And just enjoy that, that like, little warm feeling, yeah. you know, in the, in, the, in the seats. And then, you know, I buy an extra seat for my purse because so, I just don't want anybody sitting next to me, to be quite honest with you. But, um, you know, it's worth the six bucks, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> That's my child. Yeah, so, sure. But I'm excited. It's little things like that that you guys can do together that make a big difference in your relationship and that you guys can apply. And it makes... Trust me, it, it makes a world of a difference. And Absolutely. it could be the small little things. Absolutely. So that wraps it up for another Cupid's Corner Yay. every Sunday, 11 a.m. ABC. And if you didn't DVR it or you missed it, make sure to check out YouTube, Titan Medical Center, type that bad boy in. You'll see all the shows and a lot of other cool content. Plus, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. So I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week with another Cupid's Corner. See ya.